Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another gorgeous day in Delphi. It's a little bit cast over today, but the sun is shining periodically and the birds are chirping. So it's still a beautiful morning and we're going to take advantage of this weather. Since it's supposed to rain this afternoon, we're going to head out now and do some exploring. All right, so we just finished up in the museum. How long were we in there? I have no clue. That was probably the coolest museum I have ever been to. Yeah. And it was half off, so that was also a bonus. But I literally, I have not read as much information in any other museum. I was just in awe the whole time. The statues were huge. Massive. Blew our minds for sure. So yeah, now we are going to check out the Sanctuary of Apollo and we have a little map, so we'll actually know what we're looking at. <laughs> Everything is so green here. All of the places that we've been to so far have had a mix of green and like brown, but this is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why we didn't do the outside first, I don't know. So this would probably be one of the more significant urns here. This one is the treasury. So they've done a really good job at restoring it. Lots of the details were in the museum that they found. And then they've just kind of made the base here at the actual sanctuary of Apollo. It's crazy that there's people who can like discover all of these like slabs of rock and figure out like where they were from. Cause I'm assuming they're not found in the exact same place that they would have been. So people can like tell what they were. And it's crazy cause in the museum, they showed all the little pieces of sculptures that were like on the treasury and on the temple. And it shows like where they were located. And it's just, it's crazy that people have figured this out. So behind me is the Temple of Apollo. It's definitely the most prominent building at the Sanctuary of Apollo. There's only a couple pillars left. Some was in the museum, but a lot they just haven't uh, rediscovered. But if it was in its full force, like this thing would have been absolutely massive. It's really hard to comprehend when not everything is there, but it's definitely a really cool sight to see. So this is the theater, which is the most well-preserved thing at this whole archeological site is what we just read. Apparently it can host like 5,000 people and it was really prominent since Apollo is the God of music. This was used a lot for festivals and games and I'm pretty sure they also used it in some modern times too, which is really cool. Little shout out to Rochelle for getting me a rain jacket because I wasn't <laughs> gonna bring one originally. <laughs> And today is a good day to have one. So 
we're just leaving now and it was an absolutely beautiful morning minus the rain but the rain's okay <laughs> it smells really nice but yeah i'm really glad that we paid only six euros and we got to we were probably in the museum for well over an hour absolutely and it was so stunning and it's just you read up on so many things that you don't learn about in school or if you do it's just a completely different experience being here and reading it so very glad that we did this yeah and we would definitely recommend doing the museum first and then going to the archaeological site afterwards because then you get more out of the signage and like more appreciation for like what would have stood there and everything like that so definitely do the museum first all right, so we've just been walking around, taking our time today. Went to a little coffee shop, that's really nice. We mainly had to go to the coffee shop because we needed to ask some locals <laughs> where in the world the bus station is because there's a sign for the bus station, but it's all boarded up, you can't get inside. So we went to the coffee shop and asked the worker there. So the worker told us that we had to go in the restaurant beside it. Yep. Uh, so I was still at the coffee shop. Robin went, uh, did a couple laps <laughs> by the place, trying to figure out where to get these tickets. And she just came back to the coffee shop because she was like, this makes no sense. So we went back together and we just walked in and the man figured that we were probably looking for the bus. We just said, bus tickets? And we just said, yes. So he just rang us through at the till in the restaurant. Uh, we got our <laughs> tickets, they're very legit. So um, hopefully we can just get on the bus no problem tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty, so Robin and I are off to our favorite supper spot. <laughs> we went there yesterday, but we told him we'd be coming back. So we have to go tonight and we're gonna try a little bit of a different menu. So we're excited to show you guys what we get. We also have to walk there in the rain it is extremely cold and wet outside. Oh, it's not even raining that bad. No, nope, we'll be good. We missed the dump. So one really awesome thing about this place is that they have another separate menu that has a combination of foods that you can get. So it's a way better deal if you can eat that much. I'm not sure if we'll actually be able to finish it, but we need lunch for tomorrow, so hopefully this will act as both. I'm pretty sure Narissa knows what she's getting, but I have been, I took a photo of this yesterday knowing we were gonna come back, and I have been debating all day of what I'm gonna get, and I still don't know. Hmm, there's so many good options. I am going to do the spinach pie, and I'll also get tzatziki, with a Greek salad, and then I can pick between baklava or ice cream for dessert for only 10 euros. What a steal of a deal. <laughs> you look so awesome. I don't know. I don't know. I think, okay. I think I'm gonna get the stuffed tomato Ooh, with feta cheese and then ice cream. I would've gotten baklava, but he gave it to us yesterday. So I'm gonna get ice cream instead. Because I have spinach pie, like spanaka pita for breakfast or lunch, at least every second day. <laughs> so that, like, I can't get that. I had moussaka yesterday. So the stuffed tomatoes that Narissa had looked really good. So I think I'm going to try it. They brought us some more bread. I'm so excited and so glad that we came back here. And we just ordered, so food should be here soon. All right, so the first two parts of my meal came out. I got my tzatziki and I also got my Greek salad, which the a traditional Greek salad here is there's no lettuce. It's just so many vegetables in huge, huge chunks. And then a huge slab of feta cheese, which I'm so excited about because I love feta cheese. And there's no bread to go with my tzatziki, but it, I just tried some with some of the bread for our other dips and it is so good. I can probably eat it just by itself. Quite the spread going on right now. 
one of the parts of my dish was feta cheese and I wasn't really sure if it was gonna come as like a block or if it was like incorporated in something. It came as a block. So I love feta cheese, so it doesn't even matter. So I'm taking a little chunk and then I'm taking a chunk of my stuffed tomatoes and I'm just, oh, and I'm just eating it together and it's tasting super, super yummy. So I already had a couple bites of my spanakopita, pita, but it is so yummy. There's lots of spinach in it, which my body is thankful for, and all of the veggies in my salad is so good. And I, Robin is doing a whole lot better at eating slow, slower than me. So I am trying to pace myself and just relax a little bit. So I'm gonna eat very slow. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I knew you said that. We don't have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. It's all in here. <laughs> With dinner, we also get the choice of dessert. So I got Greek yogurt, and it looks like there's some kind of like berries on it, and then also like a berry sauce. I'll try it. Don't mind our super dirty table, <laughs> by the way. That's like a, hold on. <laughs> That's like a sweet syrup on it. It looks really yummy. But also like blueberries. It's mm. super, super yummy. And I just got the same dessert that we had yesterday, the baklava, because it was so delicious. As you can see, I'm about halfway done. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious, okay? And I just needed to finish it really quick so you didn't steal any. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we just finished supper and we said goodbye to this sweet man who was our server for both nights. And we aren't hungry at all, so we're not going to pick up any snacks for tonight. But we were a little thirsty. He did offer us water, but we're still a little bit not great with the water here without our like purifier water bottles so i picked up some juice <laughs> i really need fruit and veggies in my system nurse's meal came with a lot more than mine so this is how i'm gonna make up for it so i got some wine for this evening that i'm really excited about except one thing you need to bring with you to greece if you're a wine lover is your own corkscrew to open the bottles because there's barely any screw tops and I obviously didn't bring a wine bottle <laughs> opener with me. So this is where we're gonna leave you guys. We hope you enjoy this video. Tomorrow will be another travel day. We are traveling very fast recently it seems like but that'll slow down eventually and we're back off to Athens tomorrow. Okay, so oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, nope, no, go ahead. No, nope, no. go, go for it. <laughs> so we went. We're good. Okay. And he said, "We're not good." <laughs> oh my god, my arm is sore. Let's get this going. Mmm, <laughs> mm, smells good. It smells so good. Ah, <sighs> so we're just walking up our hill to our hotel right now, and. <laughs> <laughs> you want to finish it off. I can't breathe. Can you go? <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to stop. You're out of breath too. <laughs> like, are you going to fly out?